Hi, my name is Steve Fulton and welcome to Real Magic Review and today I'm going to be reviewing Blink 2 by Looch. Before we do that, can you please like, subscribe, have a look at cardmagiccourse.com. Have a look at it, it's very, very good, but don't take my word for it. Read the testimonials. Have a look at the free spread curl course at cardmagiccourse.com forward slash curl, and you'll kind of see what you're going to get. But it's like that, but 400 videos, live sessions every week, and they are uploaded to the course, whatever membership you get. So you get at least four hours of, uh, of content every single month, plus more, usually. And you can be part of a very, very cool community if you want as well. Uh, so that's cardmagiccourse.com or cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull for your free spread cull course. Now, another, another wallet. Another wallet. Loads of wallets coming out at the moment. But I'm always interested when Looch brings out stuff. And if you've seen a lot of my reviews, I do really like Looch's stuff. Uh, and I like Looch as a performer, as a person. He's very generous as a performer and a person as well. And, uh, and there's not much ego to him, to him. So when people like that bring out stuff, I... I'm kind of interested because it's not about, oh, I've got to bring out more stuff. It's, it's usually I've been working on something. This is really good. He's always really into quality. He likes to bring out stuff he uses in his shows. Uh, and uh, I know him a bit personally. It's not that we're best of mates. We haven't hung out loads. But I've seen him professionally perform at gigs. And I've seen him use his stuff. And, and I've seen him lecture as well. And everything I've seen him lecture, I've gone, that's really good. And, uh, and I've used his stuff as well. And when I first saw the Blink one, so the original Blink wallet came out in 2018. Uh, and as soon as I saw that, I just thought, that's really clever. And he's used a similar, uh, he, he did the envelopes, which I, I reviewed, which again, really clever. There's just nothing to see. You know, you get that peak and that's what we're talking about. This is a peak wallet. The envelopes are peak envelopes. The, the original Blink was, a, he, he's got this Blink peak, which is his peak that he's developed. And it really is super clean. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit. But that's what this is. So this is a peak wallet, meaning someone writes something or draws a picture on a blank business card or the blank side of a business card. It goes in the wallet and you get the information at some point. So do we need another one? Why do we need more of them? There are differences to this. And I'll start by saying this is very good and not disappointing at all. And I don't think anybody who buys this is going to be disappointed in it. The difference is, and this is a really good thing to see, because it used to be, until very recently, any kind of wallet, whether it was a peak wallet, a card to wallet, used to look like something you would never carry around unless you were like 75 years old in, in 1974. You know, these big wallets. And I don't have a problem with them, actually. I quite like the big wallets, especially for stage. I think on stage, it's a different thing. To have a big wallet kind of makes sense because you're a show person, you're performing. Whereas if you're doing walk about and close up. And this is what this is for really. Even Luch said he doesn't usually use this on stage. This is for, it's meant to look like something you usually carry around. And because the style of wallets is changing, so up till quite recently, every wallet that everybody had was like a, a, a fold wallet, uh, you know, folding three, uh, three folds, segments, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but a lot of people now are carrying around these kind of uh, credit card type wallets because cash isn't as much of a thing anymore. So people are changing with the times and that's really important because we don't feel weird when we get out a wallet that doesn't look like a wallet. And actually this has gone for the sort of brown leather look as well because um, again, you know, we're, we're, he's looked at the kind of colours of wallets that people tend to have and, and this is, you know, looks the, the most natural. I'm not saying it looks loads more natural than black, I don't think it makes a, a big amount of difference, but the point is he's thought about it. And he has thought about this a lot. The... You know, when you watch the download, he talks about the detail that's gone into this and the kind of, you know, that he does it one way and then that doesn't quite work and he plays with it quite a lot. And he, get, he takes him a big process to get to something that really, really works because, as I said, it's something he wants to use. So this is a peak wallet, which means it's only a peak wallet. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I've spoke to him and he talks again on the download and on the Facebook group, the fact he wanted to make someone that did one thing very well. And it's, that's pretty much the rule, isn't it, in everything. If you want someone to do something well, you, you go for a specialist thing. And there are lots of wallets that do lots of different things. And they're fine, they're great, I've got nothing against them, and I'm not saying they're terrible in any way. But for me, this is one of the nicest and most relaxed peak, peaks that I've ever played with. And I've, I've, I've had this in my hand a lot and I've played with it a lot. The peak, you know, I'm, I'm 
you know, you can have this on the table uh, and I'm looking, the peak is there now, I'm getting the peak. Okay, and then it's going back on the, the table as it is. So, and, and it's a very relaxed thing. In a lot of the peaks that I do, and like center tears or different wallets, they are, there's a moment where you peak it. There's a moment where you've got to get the peak in that bit. If you hang around there, it's gonna look suspicious. This is super open. You can just be chatting away, have a really good look at it, and then, uh, and, and also have a look at it when you feel the time is right. So it hasn't got to be at that moment with the choreography that you've got to look and carry on. It's like you can have a chat, you can be doing all sorts of things, get your peak in a relaxed way, and have it. And if it's a writing that's slightly messy or it's a picture you can't quite make out, you've got time to have a look at that. On the download, uh, there are three or four, anyway, a number of different peaks you can do for different scenarios. Um, Lars Hookway's got a really nice peak, again, which which is which happens when you're putting a pen lid back on, but that's been adopted as well, and you, you can use it just when you're gesturing, and this all comes up on the Facebook group, again, which we'll talk about in a bit. So that's what you've got. It's, it's very, very clean. It's very, very open. Again, there's really nothing to see. And it's brilliant. It's a you know it's got my stuff in it, not just for the review. I'm carrying it around that. And what he said, it's not a replacement for other wallets. It's a different thing for different scenarios. So you know, I still love my shadow wallet, and I'll do that for certain things, and I'll use this for certain things. I wanted to carry this around. Not that, I, funny enough, I wanted to carry it around, and I've been um, <laughs> I've been in isolation for about two weeks, pretty much solidly. So I haven't been able to use it. But it's nice carrying around the house. That's why it's been good, and you know, showing my kids tricks at a distance of four meters. Um, but it's great. So that's all you need to know about that. Importantly, when you get this, and I know a lot of people are doing the Facebook groups and all that, but Luch's Facebook group is, is great. He has had a couple of live shows on there and I kind of go, do I really want to watch a live show for an hour and 40 minutes on a wallet? I mean, how much can we talk about? But what you're actually getting, you're getting people like Morel Dantes, Joshua Quinn, um, and many, many others talking, you know, Paralabs guys talking about how they use this, what they put in their wallet, how they make the use of it slightly easier or, or fit their performance style, how they perform with it, the context they're using it, the language they use, and even like Josh Quinn gives you routines that have nothing to do with the wallet just to give you some stuff. And if you, I'm a massive fan of Joshua Quinn. His Paralyzed book is utterly stunning. And I performed for a couple of years his Equivoke routine for that, from that. Um, that is real gold and actually I watched one of the downloads, I'm going to watch the next one and it was again like a masterclass in mentalism. So don't, you know, if you get this and you get invited to the group, don't think it's just a couple of people with a couple of tips. It's really useful stuff and you you feel like you've learned some more about mentalism as well as some more about this wallet when you've watched that. And Luch and these guys chatting about this is a real joy, actually. And I can find this stuff quite boring and dull, you know, when people are talking about one thing for ages. But actually, I, I found it really fascinating and felt like I really, really learned something. So, the, you know, and it's even got people that have doctored the wallet. And I don't think you have to, by the way. You know, you will see that people have done certain things to it. You, you really don't have to. It's from, lay, from a lay person, there's really nothing to see. There's no suspicion at all, and there never is going to be. But if you wanted to do things to it, there are different ideas there. It does need a bit of working in, you know, as with all leather, it's, it needs a good bit of working in. So, you, you know, like you said, you sit there while you're watching telly and just sort of play with it and you get some heat from your hands and some moisture in there to, to sort of break it in a little bit. But that's going to happen quite naturally. But again, there are things to do before that's happened to make it a little bit easier. Uh, but I really like this. Now, I'm going to be talking to Luch. Uh, it hasn't happened yet. By the time you watch this, it may have about the wallet, but also about his performance and mentalism. So if there's any questions, um, I'll bring them up. Then if there's anything I've missed, let me know. But we'll all, or it's also do it in the comments on comments, uh, live shows on a Thursday if you've got any questions about the, the Blink 2 wallet. But it is a wallet that I think deserves to be released. It's not just, oh God, here's another one. Um, it's really, really good. And I'll look forward to losing it. Oh, downsides. Is there any downsides to it? I oh, the, um, the only thing I thought is there's a bit in it that you could, if you're not careful, you could lose, you know, but you can say that about a lot of things, can't you? Uh, but other than that, no, I think it's, it, it's easy. It takes, it's going to take a little bit of practice, but it's really easy. And I can't really think of anything uh, about it that is, that is an issue. It's, it's great. So there you go. There's the Blink2 uh, wallet by Looch. Do use the links below. Do ask questions. Uh, and thanks 
uh, to Luch for sending that to me. And uh, do check out cardmagiccourse.com and get your free cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull download course on the spread cull, the most powerful moving card magic, if you ask me. Uh, do all that good stuff. So have a good one. Take care. See you later.